And yeah, we can hold up our lunch and show. Okay. Are we live? Yeah, we are. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have you here. I would like to introduce this beautiful lady next to me. This is Sarah Hodge. She is one of my um, most amazing dream teamers. I don't know what I would do without Sarah on my dream team. Um, you just keep me so calm and grounded around social media and you run my Twitter account, you run my LinkedIn, <laughs> and you are, you are my advisor, my consigliere, as the Italians say. And uh, I'm just so grateful to have you in my life. And thank, you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. I honor you thank for you. being here. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you. We're to your beautiful sitting, office. Yeah, yeah, we're sitting here in my office today and we are enjoying some lunch. Yes. So. Can we show our lunch, Sarah? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So this is the little lunch that I prepared Whoops. for Sarah and I. <laughs> and uh, a little bit a little bit of this stuff too. Yeah. We did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is so, a ladies' lunch afternoon. Yes. Uh, yes. But gentlemen are more than welcome to join us too. So tell us what you're having for lunch. Yeah. We know absolutely. that uh, that's actually cracks me up about social media. <laughs> people are always joking about how people are sharing their lunch, but uh, we are literally sharing our lunch <laughs> yes, today. We are. So we want you to join us for lunch and let's chat. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So yeah, so Sarah, I'm really excited today because this is our first one that we're doing, and I this is a series that I'm doing every Monday at, at 12 with mm -hmm. amazing people like you. And we're having um, you know, because you're a coach, you coach others to to help them with social media and whatnot. And of course, I'm a miracle mindset coach, and um, yeah, we have a few other coaches on the other Mondays, and today was really cool because when I think of you, Sarah, I think of self-care, and we've, we've done our little show before, Extreme Self-Care, and I think that was a bit too extreme, so now we're, we're just bringing it down a little bit, <laughs> and, uh, and the idea is, you know what, it doesn't have to be extreme, you know, um, the reason I call it Extreme Self-Care is because it's, it's, um, it's truly paying attention and being intentional about your self-care. That's why the word extreme goes with it. Yeah. But if it sounds too extreme, then just say self-care. So makes sense. Whatever right? you want to call it, <laughs> just be good to yourself. It's be a general yeah. idea. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, that's what we're doing today. We thought we would uh, actually sit down and not just do a, a, a Facebook Live and talk about self-care, but we're actually taking care of ourselves and, and having an enjoyable lunch with the two of us. Uh, yeah. having a little girls afternoon so uh, I should say we should yeah. do a cheer a cheer is to to what 2018 cheers to 2018 cheers, <laughs> cheers to, to self-care um, to resolutions I don't know if you have any resolutions some people are dead set against re resolutions mm. and that's okay too I don't make them do you um yes and no I don't um you know I don't make a big deal out of it, but I do have things in mind that I want to, I have goals in mind for the year, and I'm definitely going after those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and um, I think it's important, self-care is definitely an important thing, and I always keep that on the top of my list. Yeah. So. I love that about you. I remember when we first met, and what really inspired me was your story about the, you know, bringing out the good china and, and the teapot, and you put it on your desk with the flowers. Yes. You know, because it's little things like that that raise yeah. our spirit and yeah. they raise our vibration. And I'm all about doing the work at raising your vibration. Because to me, it's easy to easily get knocked down in life, right? Can I can I get a couple of likes or loves on that one? It's the world will knock us down, but it's our job to keep us elevated, to keep our vibration high. Am I right? I agree. Yeah, I agree definitely. So this is intentional, right? You know, we're we're uh, we're about to eat this fabulous little. Uh, Elisa looks fabulous to me. I picked everything. <laughs> So I like it today. Yeah, I'll hear arrange this before we went live. And I gotta say, this is like very Instagrammable little lunch okay. we've got going here. Oh. Where's my camera? I'm trying yeah. to show it there. Yeah. Oh, how lovely is that? Oh, thanks for the likes, guys. That's awesome. So yeah. she did a great job, and uh, I can't thank her enough. That's oh, a beautiful lunch that kidding? she brought over today. I'm just so yeah. you know. Actually, maybe um, another part of self care could be surrounding yourself with people who. Are caring about you as well and exactly, good friends, right? Exactly. So that's an important thing to do as yeah, well. Yeah. But uh, take a little bit of time out in your day, whether it's a, a fancy lunch on some pretty plates, or and it doesn't have to be a restaurant, right? Like, look, we're having a ladies' lunch right in your office. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah, and we're enjoying ourselves. And yeah, you know, just make a little time in your day. Uh, you don't have to if if you don't have time to leave your office to go have lunch with somebody. Have your friend come over and join you for lunch in your office and uh, yeah. dine a la desk. You know what? I think I want to do this every month with you. Just I love it. bring lunch. <laughs> Lunch chat and and have your beautiful web webcam. This is a really nice camera. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but this is this is high depth. Eh? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's really nice. It's definitely it's very good. Um, it's much better than what I was using before, which was the the camera on my laptop, 
And I thought I would look good uh, in a video, and then when <laughs> I would publish it, it was all dark. So it was driving me crazy. So we have a much better camera now. Yes, yes, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So, so today is Blue Monday, Sarah. Did you know that? I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I heard on the way coming mm -hmm. here actually was that it was invented many years ago because um, I think that the rationale behind it was that okay, the holidays are over, your bills are coming in. It's really cold. You really want to be somewhere else. Um, and uh, um, yeah, yeah. And so it's a blue Monday. But you know what? I feel amazing. And I hope you do as well. You've had some amazing, amazing shifts in the last year that, that have just brought you this beautiful home and just so honored to be a part of your journey. And you've helped me get Thank here. You. Thank like, you. Thank you. Honestly, well, I've I, I, you I, did all the work, Sarah. You were amazing to be a part of your you. journey. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, uh, I'm so glad that I've worked with Elmira because I've had some really amazing transformations in my own life, and uh, this is one of them, my new home. So, uh, and I absolutely love it here. I could I could live just in my office alone and be perfect. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. Happy, so, yeah. but you manifested it, right? You created it with your with your thoughts. Yeah. Thoughts are things. Yeah. And honestly, guys, um, yeah, I hope you believe in law of attraction, and I hope you're using it because. It really does work. Can we get some thumbs up and loves for the <laughs> law of attraction? Yeah. I've literally created the life of my dreams and I help my clients do the same and it's possible. It really, really is. So um, yeah, so today is Blue Monday and I want to say I feel amazing. I'm not blue. I'm choosing to be happy. You don't have to be blue just because it's Blue Monday. It's also Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It is. He would have been 89 years old today. So happy birthday in heaven, Martin Luther King Jr. And I think it's the 50th anniversary of his speech, I Had a Dream, too. Do you, do you know if that's true or not? That I know. Does anyone know if that's true? Can you comment if it, if it is true that it's his 50th anniversary? No. Thanks um, for the likes, by the way. I saw yeah. a few floating past there. Thank yeah. you. Thank so you. Um, while we're chatting here, feel free to let us know what it is that you do uh, for your own self-care. Um, and if you don't, then are you're not doing it currently, then what is it that you would like to do? And it can be micro things. Like don't, don't think of self-care as like, oh my God, I have to spend $500 at the spa. Because no, that's mm -hmm. something we talked about before. Uh, it can be something really simple. You know, instead of using that gas station mug for your coffee every day, replace it with something beautiful. I've got a, pardon my, mm -hmm. I've got this beautiful angel mug that I found in a store mm -hmm. recently that I keep on my desk. And I, I actually, I have my stones in here um, that I like to keep on my desk. But I have another one. I thought, this is so pretty. I want to keep it on my desk, but I actually want to use it too. So I went out and bought myself a second one. And sometimes I have coffee in my angel mug. And isn't that so much prettier than, uh, whoa, where's my camera? Mm -hmm. Having one, you know, from McDonald's or the mm -hmm. gas station or wherever. So something to keep in mind. It can be just little tiny things like that. Or buy, buy yourself a bath bomb and take mm -hmm. the time to have a nice bath. You can make them too, right? You I can. Made, I made them and yeah. gave them away at Christmas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My son and I actually recently made some together and we had a great time. So just little things. It can be little things. It, it doesn't have to be anything that's, you know, feeling like you're, you have so much to, on your plate already that self-care is just another chore because people are telling you you must do it, you know. But um, people tell you that you must do it because there are probably people who are doing it and they, and they understand the value of it. It can help you with your productivity. It can help you with mm -hmm. your, your happiness and so many other wonderful benefits just by doing something really simple for yourself. And you know what mine is? I have another really weird one. Do you have weird? Any? Yeah, this is one <laughs> I think that is funny about weird. yours. So my sons are really, they love raspberries. And I love raspberries too. But whenever I buy them at the store, I'm buying them for my sons. And when I put them in their lunches, their school lunches all the time, and I never, like, I have them sitting in a bowl in the fridge, but I never actually eat the raspberries because I'm like, oh, no, those are for the boys, you know? <laughs> so last week I went out and bought a little thing of raspberries. It was like $2. And when I had lunch that day, I had a bowl of raspberries. And I was like, why am I not doing this more often? Why do I only save those for the kids? And they're not, oh. like, I'm not good enough to have the raspberries. Ooh. Wow. It, that's a mindset thing, yeah, right? Totally. Don't you agree? Yes, absolutely. So, and I learned that from you. But. <laughs> well, so. I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, that you learned that. It was, it was an important thing to learn because we have to, you know, if we're not putting ourselves first, guys, the world is not going to be a happier place. Like, 
the old expression is true, ain't mama happy, ain't nobody happy. And there's the corollary of that, which is ain't daddy happy, who cares? Which is kind of mean, and I don't mean that, but it is part of the expression, so I'm just saying it. But yeah, we have to take care of ourselves um, if we're to take care of others. And we hear that over and over, you know, fill our own cup, uh, put gasoline in the car, otherwise it's, you know, it's not going to run. Like, there's just so many ways. Um, one of my favorites is Mother Teresa. We need to put oil in our own lamps first if we are to light the way for others. Yeah, and these are things we've heard yeah. time and time again, but they don't get old. And it's not just empty rhetoric. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I know that it's, you know, something we hear all the time. But it's something we hear all the time for a reason. It really is important. So um, I would love to know uh, what you what you do for your little self care rituals. And if you don't have one yet, um, what are you thinking of doing? What would you like to do? Um, if you know, don't feel like it's something that you have to make time for. Uh, you do have the time. It, I have the time to instead of using my gas station mug every day, pouring my coffee into my angel mug. It takes an actual two seconds. There is time. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I think the mug cost me like $7. Yeah, yeah. So something to think about. It's mindset, right? Yeah. Like everything, everything is mindset. And, you know, we have a mindset around money. We have a mindset around self-care. We have a mindset about, you know, how far we can go. Yeah. And it's our job to get out of our own effing way. <laughs> And really so create the life of our dreams, you know. And we're going to sing that later, by the way. I don't know if you want to join it. I forget the second half. I know, that. <laughs> I know the first half. The first half, okay. I forget well, that part. Do, do the best you can. I, I like to close my, my uh, Facebook Lives with this uh, just because uh, it's fun. It <laughs> and fun. it's true. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> and I noticed some people. Uh, I hope they don't come and t tell them about the uh, the plumber that might actually oh, interrupt us. <laughs> I have a leak in my in my um, tub upstairs, and I've called the plumber. So luck would have it, somebody's going to show up like any second now. Hopefully not. <laughs> they said this afternoon sometime. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I also want to um, backtrack a little bit on one thing I said because I don't also I I don't want to. Um, be saying by any means that a, an expensive trip to the spa isn't some, something you should do. Heck, go for it if you can, absolutely. But um, I just hear a lot of people saying, like, uh, there's this mindset around self care that it's got to be something that's pricey mm -hmm. or that takes time, too much time, it's time consuming. Um, so, my point uh, with what I was saying is just that it really doesn't have to be either of those things. Mm -hmm. And you can just truly enjoy um, something that. Uh, you might not otherwise gift yourself with mm -hmm. and um, you know all that rhetoric is, rhetoric I sorry is true um, but also to, to keep in mind that when you're fueling yourself uh, if, it, if it's if you're running a business you're fueling your business if Absolutely. You're, when you're running your family you're running you're fueling your family um, you have to be at the top of your game or uh, you know feeling great inside and out um, in order for all of those other pieces to come together yeah, so, absolutely, absolutely. It's not just, you know, a lot of us don't like to uh, take time for ourselves, but it's necessary and it's so important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be intentional about it. And that's why I call it extreme self-care because you're intentional. Oprah talks about being intentional, yes. just purposely doing something because it's easy not to. It's easy to say, oh, you know, I've got a lot of things on my to-do list and you put yourself last. But if you're not intentional about self-care, treating yourself like the beautiful person that you are, self-care equals self-love. And it's hard to have self-love, but it has to become a practice, you know? And I know you've been learning a lot more of it over the past yeah. year. I have over the last few years. And yeah, it's, it's a journey worth going on because when you do, everything else in your life falls into place, you know? And miracles start happening because we are... <laughs> And you do. We are truly vibrational creatures, and we what it is that 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 we exude, we attract back. So if we're taking care of ourselves, we have a high vibration state. People will be drawn to our energy. People want to work with us. They want to give us opportunities. They want to take us out on dates or marry us. Like we have a different vibration, right? And if we're in this like low vibration state where we don't believe in ourselves and we don't love ourselves, like. Who's going to want us, you know? We, we walk around with virtually a kick me sign on our backs, and we need to rip that sign off. Um, that's what a lot of my work is about, because my story is, you know it, depression, anxiety, panic disorder, because I fell into a dark place living inauthentically, and it was the 
biggest blessing I could have had living like that for two years because it got me out and now I'm living the life of my dreams. Oh, some people are joining us. Hi guys, Bob and Vilma and Natalia. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Um, Thank you for joining us. Yeah. And we're having lunch. So we if you're are, having yeah. lunch, have some lunch. Let's do yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the social media thing that everybody hates and that would, let's talk about what we're doing for lunch. Tell us what you're having for lunch today. Um, Elvira brought this beautiful lunch for us mm. to enjoy today and we're enjoying oh. some wine as well. Yeah. Forget the coffee. <laughs> Let's have a little wine today. Are we allowed to do that on social media? Drink wine on Facebook Live? Is this legal? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Yep. Hi, Natalia. Hi, Natalia. How, How are you, having, sweetie? What are you having for lunch and what do you do to uh, include yourself? What's, what's your self care ritual? Let us know. I love Natalia posted something really cool on Facebook yesterday. And I, I remember saying, Word Sister, you know, because it was so bang on, Natalia. Mm -hmm. What, what were you talking about? It was so cool. It was um, it was something about, oh gosh, I read so many things, now I forget, but it, it really impacted me. Um, I'd love it if you could share it, like even just like copy and paste it to this conversation because it was really cool, really mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, there's so much wisdom out there, you know, like if you go through your, your friend's feeds and uh, I'm actually uh, home from work. Oh, okay, you're actually Great. home from work. Cool, awesome. Um, but no, I really loved what you wrote yesterday, Natalia. It was really inspiring. And um, yeah, just keep inspiring, sister. You're such a light worker. I, I just love it. Um, Sarah and I are light workers too. So I, I know my tribe. My tribe is, is light workers, people that are here to make a difference on the planet by helping others get to where they want to be and helping them realize who they truly are. Who we truly are is divine beings. Mm -hmm. We're not here to live a mediocre life. We're here to live the life of our dreams. I truly believe. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you're going to find light workers along your path. And um, you know, I know Natalia, you're one of them. So I'm, I'm acknowledging you. Um, no problem. I will paste it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank this you. is great. That's great. Um, and uh, yeah. So what else do you want to say, Sarah? What, what else is coming to you? I just really <laughs> want to say again for anyone who's just joining us now, or or. Uh, checking in on the replay um, uh, we would love to hear what you do as well so be sure to plug that in the comments but also what a lovely way to spend an afternoon um, Elvira messaged me earlier today or last night actually asking me what kind of sandwiches I like so, so I, I said what kind of sandwiches I like and I thought she was just bringing sandwiches but actually she brought this beautiful lunch we were before we did the video, we were upstairs taking a whole bunch of uh, you'll see them later, yeah, photos on her Instagram. Because she also brought some really adorable uh, emoji cookies. Oh, they're upstairs. We didn't even bring them down. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> but we have we'll put like, them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. So there, we have this beautiful lunch. We have a couple glasses of wine. We have friends, and we're just enjoying ourselves and having a, a lovely lunch in the middle of the day. Uh, and later on, we'll go back to work. Uh, yeah. I have work to do, but we, I've got clarity calls to do. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're you know we're taking some time out of our day to uh, to celebrate life. Yeah, yeah. And and take care of ourselves. You know, th this is a treat being with my friend, and I get to have a nice lunch. We don't have to spend a lot of money at a restaurant. It's right. just it's just lovely. So yeah. How are we doing for time here? By the way, we're we're yeah, almost twenty out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So is there anything you're promoting right now, Sarah? Can you talk about anything that you're doing? that you'd like people to know about? Um, I'm actually just developing a program right now, so it's not it's not up and running, but uh, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, let you know about that when it is. And um, just really my social media work is what I do. So mm -hmm. I do uh, online strategy sessions with uh, entrepreneurs, mostly small businesses and medium-sized businesses. And one-to-one uh, -one sessions or group sessions uh, are my thing. So. Love mm -hmm. to help people uh, with their social, especially now with all these huge changes coming uh, to mm. Facebook. Not so huge, actually. They sound a lot worse than they are, and um, I'll be talking about that a lot on my own page in the next uh, mm. in the coming weeks. I already did a little bit a couple days ago, but there's lots to talk about. Mm. Uh, Can you share your link after on your sure. your, your Connect group, which is uh, international? Yes. Yeah, I run yeah. an international group called yeah. Connect for Entrepreneurial Women, and that is a, a group where we come together and uh, share. I, I share tips for social media for entrepreneurs who need some help with that. Um, Natalia is saying, be aware when you're living in a resentful place, you're not putting positivity into the world. Be a survivor, not a victim. Remember that suffering comes from the actions of many, even yourself, and the only way to free yourself from this poison is taking responsibility for your part, forgiving, and not blaming anyone for your emotions. 
and reactions. We have the choice to stay calm and collected. We have the choice not to harass and put our anger towards the objective people in our lives. We have the ability to not be offended at every turn. If we want peace, we must learn to stop dealing with violence and start, start dealing in compassion. Blaming is actually a passive aggressive violent act. And when mm -hmm. we come in through forgiveness instead of blame, it makes a passage for peace, love, unity, and actual community. Learning to, un over learning to overstand all humans, even those that hurt people. Mm. That's beautiful, Natalia. That's beautiful. Thank you very Thank much you for, for sharing, sharing that. that. That's, That's beautiful. Great. Really powerful today on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah. You know? um, good timing. Good timing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> um, maybe that's him. I'm sure it is. Um, so yeah, no, so thank you for sharing that. So if in, you're going to put your link to join your group oh, if yes. people want to learn more about yes. social media and, uh, you know, just how to stay um, present in, in uh, invisible, but in a way that works, you know, and you're not you're going against any, you know, rules and breaking laws and yep. and uh just doing it in a really you know high high vibe way yes. um so that's what you're all about so thank you yeah yeah thank you yeah. and one thing we talk about in there a lot is uh, live video so that is something that's not going away and uh if you want some help with that be sure to join because we do regular uh, live video practice days in that group so yeah if you want to get some practice if you haven't tried it before yes of course yeah yeah get you guys to it, practice there yeah it's important so awesome. someone's saying hi e. hi Steph. how are you so I'm going to chat with you later today. Woohoo! That's my Argo sister, Stephanie. Huge oh, shout out cool. to Stephanie Sebastiano. She's amazing. She is just such a beautiful light worker. Honestly, her heart is so big. And uh, Steph, I love you, and I'll, I'll look Thank forward you. to chatting with you later. Um, yeah, so so in terms of um, what I've got going on, I think I should share something that's happening this weekend, if I could. Um, there is a, a great little restaurant that just opened up in Mono Mills, Caledon. Cool. My friend Leanna Gualtieri, big shout out to Leanna Gualtieri in the kitchen at Mono Mills. Um, she actually brought us in to do um, my band, uh, Heart and Soul, to do a jazz night there. And uh, we had a great time. Can you and fill the room? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we did. Yeah, it's a sold out show. Or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And Leanna invited us back every month, which is great. And so we're going to do jazz nights there once a month. Wow. But what was really cool is because I don't consider myself a jazz artist as much as an inspirational artist. In other words, I'm up there doing my thing, encouraging you to do your thing. Um, so when I started talking about that at the end, I got. I got asked, why don't you come and do a workshop? So I'm actually doing it this Sunday at the Kitchen at Mono Mills, and I hope you guys can come out because you'll learn all about the Love Your Vibe Miracle Mindset that saved my life. Um, I was truly in a dark place, guys. I, I just, after two years of feeling sick and tired of being sick and tired, depression, anxiety, panic disorder, being bullied corporately and socially, I just said, look, give me a way out of ending this or give me a way out of it. Yeah. And I got the Love Your Vibe Miracle Mindset gifted to me. It saved my life first and foremost, but more importantly, it's for me to share with others, to support them, to give them hope that they can get out of depression, anxiety, panic disorder, feeling lost, inauthentic in their life, mm -hmm. um, to truly living the life of their dreams. And, and this is just a series of tools that and mindset shifts that help them get there. So yeah. I am so honored and excited to share that this Sunday at Mono Mills. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, there's a actual, if you go to my Facebook page, um, you can actually uh, go to the page and sign up for it. And you just have to call Leanna and book your, uh, your seat. Um, she's going to have tables there. Bring some friends that love personal development. It's going to be amazing. And uh, uh, you are so sweet. Can't wait to chat. I'm all set for Sunday. Yay, Stephanie's coming on Sunday. Amazing. Oh, nice. Yeah, amazing. So, so yeah, Leanna's an amazing cook and it's a brunch too so you're not oh, only you're feeding your your body mind and soul at the, on this day so I'm really excited about that so yay yay good, good, so good. um yeah but listen I guess you know I'd love to finish the rest of this lunch is there anything else you want to say before we close off I want to say thank you for everyone who's joining thank in. You guys. And whether you're watching live right now or on the replay, uh, we really appreciate you being here. And we just want to, we're just here to make you kind of hopefully think about your own self-care rituals mm -hmm. and uh, what, what you're going to do going forward in 2018. Uh, it's important not just for you, but for everything that you, every part of your life that you are touching, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, how you treat yourself uh, reflects onto all of those things. Yeah, absolutely. And I just got a, a word downloaded to me. Homemade luxury. 
you know, it. this is the way I see it. This is a bit of homemade luxury. It it's true, a really yeah. nice restaurant meal. We're just having it <laughs> in Sarah's office. So yeah, so consider homemade luxury. You know, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, just go into that mindset of, of I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to show myself some self care, some self love. So here's another sound little, good? Yes. another little tiny, I'm giving, I'm trying to think of examples of little tiny things you can do for yourself all the time that, that that actually bring you joy that don't hardly cost a thing so here's the perfect example before we go pen right I have a bunch of these in my office it does its job but it's fairly boring so purple is my thing I love the color purple and I have all kinds of purple things so I went out and I was like what the heck why don't I just buy some purple pens so I use these now uh, I'm not gonna plug the brand or anything but um, it's a little purple pen that I really love using and as crazy as it sounds, maybe it brings me joy in my life every day. When I'm writing, I'm like, ooh, purple. <laughs> it's like my color. Yeah. So it's so you, have, life. Yeah. you can have this pen or you can have this pen. <laughs> I love it. Um, Perfect metaphor. What the, it's like $5. Right? It doesn't, yeah. have to yeah. be, it doesn't have to be anything big. But yeah. just do yourself some little, give yourself some little treats here and there. Yeah. Just be conscious about it. Intentional. Yeah, That's absolutely. what it is. That's Treat what yourself it is. for yeah. sure. You're worth it. You are worth it. Absolutely. And you're here for a bigger purpose. And when you learn how to get out of your own effing way, your bigger purpose comes out. So okay, it's I feel pressured now. Yeah. <laughs> I only remember the first half of this. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Do what you get. I do the first half of the second. <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? I, unless you want to like whisper it to me. Okay. Well, okay. Let's. Well, I'm gonna whisper it to her. Then we're gonna say it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay. So now we're going to close off, guys, with my little, um, what's it called, thumbprint. Uh, and I actually, it's actually my jingle because I'm a singer. I thought I could do it. Instead of saying it, I'm going to sing it. So okay, here I, we go. I'm not a singer, so I apologize for my pants. Get out of your own effing way. Your miracle life awaits. Yeah. Jazz hands. Give me jazz hands. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Monday at noon. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>